This informal portrait is probably of a French courtier and his family. It was painted before the artist left Paris in 1706-7. The guitar was popular at the French court in the early 18th century. It was considered especially suitable for accompanying singing. Indeed, the music book on the table appears to be open at a song. The emphasis on music making This is a hollow body electric guitar. It marked the first big breakthrough in trying to amplify the sound of a guitar in an era where music became louder and louder. France guitarists needed some help. We didn't practice all these skills for nothing. Enter the guitar pickup. It stood at the cradle of a major revolution in music and in the guitar industry itself. A solid or semi-solid body electric guitar. What's so amazing to realize is that almost all guitars currently on the market are either a direct descendant or very similar to just a handful of instruments that came to life during the span of just one decade, the 50s. My name is Paul Davids and in this video we'll go over the characteristics and sounds of the most iconic guitar types and brands. And seeing all the instruments in the context of their time and why they came to be is super interesting to see. And this story starts in 1950. Jacob Van Schepen was born in Fontainebleau. He worked in the Netherlands before leaving for Vienna where, in 1725, he was appointed director of the Academy of Fine Arts, when it was reopened by the Emperor Charles VI as the Imperial Academy Painting, Sculpture, and Architecture. His work has been presented at the Belvedere Museum in Vienna. In 